Hi Virgo and welcome to your Mercury Retrograde Tarot Reading. Mercury goes retrograde on October 31st through November 20th and will be in Scorpio. So Virgo, this is an incredible time of emotion, of transformation, intensity, um, you know, and the readings have been a mixed bag as far as like what's going on. So Virgo, let's get right into yours and see which area of your life is most impacted by this Mercury retrograde. Mercury retrogrades are all about unfinished business. So what comes back to us needs to be addressed or faced or returned to us. So let's see. Ooh, you guys have the fourth house, your home and the roots of your being. Virgo. Fourth house energy being what is most impacted through this Mercury retrograde. Um, I'm getting actually several different things for you guys. Some of you, it's time to really heal with certain family members. Um, and they don't have to be blood, you know. It's just, it depends, uh, you know. Sometimes people we meet in our life feel closer to us than our actual family, right? So for you guys, um, some Virgos, this is all about healing uh, with a family member. And this is like where we are putting it all out on the table, taking full accountability, um, ownership, apologies, tears, like you name it. So some Virgos out there, you and somebody you consider family who have been at odds, who have been fighting, like you guys are breaking down and you guys are going to work it out and you are going to only be stronger for it because this connection is meant to be in your life and walk with you. It will keep you strong and you keep them strong, okay? Um, other Virgos out there, this is attached to like your home or living situation and, uh, you know, it's like... Maybe in the past you've been like trying to move or to sell your home or um, find a roommate, you know, something along those lines. And the timing wasn't quite right, Virgo, but now through this Mercury retrograde, um, it's like the universe is going to like bring things your way w around this, you know, home or living situation, like the perfect roommate, the per find the perfect apartment, or maybe now is like the perfect time to finally sell your house, um, any thing going on with home that's just kind of been in limbo or in any sort of struggle or stagnation Virgo it's like with mercury retrograde it, it, the energy comes in to break all of that up the solution the answer like whatever you need um, around this living situation is coming through and lastly for some Virgos out there this has to do with some karma and, uh, you know, just with all the astrology going on, not surprised to see that. But Virgo, this is where the karma is finally resolved, okay? And you are receiving answers and clarity and deep understanding and finally, like, some positive return for um, some of the heavier life lessons that you've been working through this year. So let's pull a card to see which guardian angel is walking with you through this Mercury retrograde. angel of positivity nice virgo it is time to heal with somebody that you consider family it is time for healing to come into like home and living situations and karma has finally been fulfilled virgo so it's time to start looking up to the stars to believing in more to return to a place of optimism and excitement and happiness and really just being in the moment and being accepting of where you stand right now today because when you, we come into a place of acceptance about just the way everything is okay it is what it is and what can I do I can only move forward and try my best when you come into that space and you just set your intention forward for the best outcome for you your angels are going to help you out with that. They're going to light up the path for you. You're going to make different decisions than you normally would have. And Virgo, the time has come for major shift with fourth house energy transformation, which puts you back into a place of faith, belief, optimism, and positivity, excitement, and happiness. So let's pull a couple of cards to get some highlights about this energy, Virgo as the airplane flies over my house. Some of you, there is a trip <laughs> because that keeps coming through in your readings and here's this airplane flying. Or is that a helicopter? I think that's a helicopter. 
flying over. It's time to take flight, to be airborne, to be elevated and uplifted. Dare, yay! It's time to jump into new experiences and the unknown and no longer be afraid, Virgo. Outside of the box. All right, um, so when the white rabbit shows up and you've got it in both cards there's you know white rabbits throughout the deck but in this particular deck when he is actually in one of the cards i know that there is some information or ideas or doing things in a way that feels very foreign to you that maybe that's what we need to start doing virgo there's information that is very so far outside your belief system you might be like wait what huh but it, it doesn't mean you have to change your belief system, but within that information, like you're triggered, you're activated, or Virgo, it might be like that's the best solution for you. So you're going to be receiving some information that's very new to you, to your consciousness, like you never heard it before, never thought of before, but it's actually quite positive. And your spirit guides are saying, you know, dare to step into the unknown and try radically new things that will bring you success, Virgo. I love it. Okay, so let's pull some tarot dice, Virgo. Gain more insight about this. Oh, that's only four. We need five. Oh, nice, Virgo. So we've got the magician. There is some magic coming with this retrograde for Virgos. Next is the tower. Could be quite shocking, but also, Virgo, those of you where this is around some sort of home, living, or house situation, definitely changes coming into that space and I think that you really really want that and it almost happens magically like maybe for some of you around these living situations the magic solution just shows up quite unexpectedly next we have the queen of swords Virgo this to me is more about this new information that's coming to you rather than um, you know speaking about another person and this is your consciousness expanding into new ideas, receiving new information, trying new things, even though we're a little bit uh, conflicted internally about it. But um, Virgo, it's all about the new. And also, here is the Four of Swords. So we've got some sort of rest, relaxation, healing, vacation, something showing up where your batteries are really going to be recharged. You're feeling on top of the world. You're no longer feeling boxed in. Virgo answers and solutions are coming to you with this Mercury retrograde 1,000%. Um, many of you have resolved a lot of karmic contracts and those are no longer holding you back karmic contracts may involve an air sign gemini libra aquarius but you have completed that it's done it's over you're going to be freed from it um others of you it's like you know a family member i do feel a family member that you've been on the outs with it's time for you guys to come into a place of healing and understanding with each other where um, as in the past I feel there may have been like a, just a lot of distance and separation between you guys maybe one or both of you being very stubborn but this mercury retrograde the way it's moving through you and moving through this other person like it's softening your energies and you're able to see each other's perspectives in a way that you weren't able to before okay and so who doesn't want to heal with somebody they consider family and I do see that so strongly Virgo but ultimately your consciousness is so expanding like far outside of the way you used to think and and perceive and see things the way like choices that you make are going to change going forward as well like um You've been through a hell of a lot, and you have resolved a lot of karma, Virgo, and now it's time for you to fly and feel free and step into some beautiful brand new energy that is completely foreign to you. Um, and there is, through this retrograde, for his swords, it also brings something that is uh, very rejuvenating, very healing, 
very relaxing to your soul, recharging your batteries uh, spiritually, emotionally, physically, mentally. And um, I just meant a vacation for some of you. As I say that, this wanted to jump out. Star, yes, we are being healed. Okay, Virgo, let's pull some tarot cards to further clarify the tarot dice. First out, Knight of Wands. There is that reignition, that healing, that burst of energy, and it's magical. Virgo, look at that. It is magical with that Knight of Wands sitting on top of the Magician. Ooh, Queen of Wands coming out on top of this tower. So you got some fire energy coming through. Um, Aries Leo Sag. Now we have the Queen of Swords sitting on top of the Queen of Swords, Virgo. Let me get all these cards out. Oh my goodness, Ace of Pentacles. Yay, there it is, Virgo. And lastly, the Sun. It doesn't get any better than that, and that sits right on top of that Four of Swords. I love it. I love it. I love it a thousand times. I love that pairing. Oh my gosh, just because of the message. Okay, Virgo. Um, so there are some people coming through, two females, um, two female energies, could be male, you know, this is general, but an air sign and a fire sign coming through quite strongly, um, and that could be this family member that you're going to heal with, okay, where, and it could maybe for some of you, it's a couple of people within the family, and you're finally going to just heal and come into a place of full understanding, and it's not like you guys have to walk on eggshells, or this is temporary, no, it's, you know, we're finally burying the hatchet. This retrograde is bringing you guys back together because you're meant to be in each other's life moving forward, drawing and gaining strength from each other, okay? Um, others of you, this living situation or it's buying, selling a home, roommate, whatever it is around the home for you guys, um, it looks like there's somebody that's going to really help you out, give you advice, or Virgo, this is like um, the perfect roommate showing up if that's what you need. Um, and you're a bit hesitant because it might be like so foreign, like the way you got to go about this from what you normally would do, but that is the way to prosperity with the Ace of Pentacles sitting on top of this um, Five of Wands. And then lastly, the Sun sitting on that top of that Four of Swords. There it is. There's the healing. There's the release. There's the understanding, the completion of karma. Some of you going on some beautiful vacation that just puts you on top of the world. You are back to yourself. You are ready to take on the world, Virgo, after this Mercury retrograde. It is so good to you. Um, and I guess, you know, I, wow, I just, I, I didn't even consider this until just now, but Mercury's your ruling planet. And so, yeah, I guess that would be why this is so empowering. Oh, look, Virgo, these just jumped out true friend and earned opportunity this is what oh sorry it's it got blurry there we go this is what's coming to you virgo is a true friend and this earned opportunity the energy all right true friend is this family member where you guys are going to work it out very loving very supportive this person could also be um you know somebody who helps with this living situation that you're going through okay um, but ultimately, Virgo, there are good things coming to you with this Mercury retrograde. You guys have nothing to worry about. In fact, like, this is probably the best you guys have felt all year. Uh, just the way this energy has come through and is being aspected. And, like, heavy weights being lifted off of you because, again, you guys have resolved a lot of karma this year with fourth house energy coming out because that's roots and roots is karma. Um, and then also family and home. So Virgo, karmic resolution always feels good because we elevate, good things come in, um, and then healing with family or around a home situation, which, you know, who doesn't want that? So those are your messages, Virgo. I'm wishing you all the best. Take care.